Hey everyone, welcome back to the place on the internet where we are testing, that's right, you guessed it, every single mask on Amazon. Sorry about me fussing with my hair. My, my mic cord is all over the place, I'm gonna trip. I can, the HD, I can, I can see the hair everywhere. It's, it's driving me crazy here, right? Just forget about that, let's test some masks, huh? All right, so today we're, we're testing the, uh, the April masks, which when we first, uh, when I first clicked on the link that we bought them on, front row. Dogs of Instagram. If you're ever just feeling sad, by the way, pro tips, go to amazon.com slash bunch of weird stuff. It'll just show you cute dogs. It's nice. Uh, did find it though. I guess they just changed homes. Uh, it's a Hello Kitty face mask, so cute. Doubt they actually have the rights to do that, so maybe that's why they got kicked to this new one. And look, visit the Ape Pal store, weird name. Let's put it in the clamper. All right. These are always not trivial to uh, to do here. The kids, the kitty masks, because they're just like barely, barely large enough. Barely large enough. Oops. Skip that part, Eric. All right. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how that works, click on that link. Remember, we're testing just the fabric today, not the fit. You need both fit and filtration. This is just one part of the equation. Look it up. Got to fit well on your face, but also you got to have filtration. You need both. Okay, I'm looking on the listing. They're not making any claims. Universal design fits girls and boys. That's right, boys. It's okay if you like Hello Kitty. Three to 10 years old. It's very small. Not seeing much else. Cute and comfortable. Oh, okay. All right, weird bag. Let's open it up. Uh, don't like the bag very much. This kind of bag, it's not a barrier bag, which means it's just uh, smells are gonna get through, which is unfortunate. And it's, it doesn't reseal, so it's kind of mine. This is very cute. The construction's really good, as far as I can tell. Uh, they're a little bit off. I'm being nitpicky here, but you can see the cut is at an angle. Oopsie. So the cut is at a little bit of an angle. Do these things matter? I don't know. Sometimes it translates into the fabric choice that they make. Let's do this. That often happens with kids' masks, I'm noticing. A little bit more than I, than I would like, to be honest. Okay, let's try this. Oh! Oh! Ape pal. Ape Ape pal. I don't want to say it. Yeah. That's gonna fall off on your kid's face. For sure. Let's try it on my face. Okay, that one is pretty strong. I don't love it. it. Smells like burning in here, that's not good. I'm gonna call this one uh, a small Electrical fire. Child size. Why not? And the test is just finishing up. Survey says 84%. Ugh. Really breathable, but only 84%. 84.031. Uh, I don't like that. Minimum standards in the United States, 95%. That's what we like to see. It's an ASTM level one mask or if you're reaching out there, I would go with ASTM level two or three. That's 98%. Thank you guys for watching today, and I will catch you at the next test. Maybe. Maybe. If I get a like. I will be checking, Cynthia. Yeah, that's right. See you at the next test.